We've installed Internet Information Services. Now let's look at configuring the file transfer protocol or FTP server role. And I've added some shortcuts, but if you don't have the shortcuts, of course, you can find um, Internet Information Services Manager here and then particularly what I'll need is Server Manager, which I can get to here or my shortcut here. But I simply want to add a role. So I'm going to go here. And here are my currently set up or installed roles. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Role Services. And I simply need to select FTP Publishing Service. I'm going to go ahead and add the required role services. And if you haven't added it already, in the last tutorial where we did the web server and a password protected directory and directory browsing, we added these types of authentication. So basic and uh, Windows, but you might need to add this if you want to use them. So I'm still going to add these roles. I'm going to click Next and Install. Okay, and installation has succeeded. And once that's done, I'm done with Server Manager. Now I'm going to go open up Internet Information Services Manager. And again, if you don't have a shortcut, you can get there via Administrative Tools as well. And particularly what I need is this. But just to show you there's a link and that I can get there from the new Internet Information Services Manager, I'm going to choose that route. Okay, and then FTP sites, and I can click here on this link, and that'll simply bring up IISX. This will allow me to manage my FTP server. Okay, and I'm going to go here. And notice that it's not started. It hasn't been started yet, and if I wanted to, I can right click and uh, I can perform several tasks here. In this case, if I want to start the server. Um, before I do that, I'm going to right click and select properties and modify um, some of the settings on my FTP server. So I'm going to go, you know, all of these I'm going to leave as uh, default. Notice you know, where my log files are. In this case, Windows System 32 log files, and it's Microsoft, um, you know, in this case, the service and EXY. It's just the month and the day. It's formatted like that. Um, notice some of the other features here. Um, the connection timeout 120 seconds after which you know if someone was logged in their connection would automatically be dropped notice the default ports are 20 and 21 but you could change those if you want I'm gonna go over here to security accounts and right now I'm using I user underscore C Germany as well this is for anonymous access um, and what this will do when you install it let me go ahead and go to a computer here and we'll look at the directory Remember when we installed IIS, it made the folder inet pub and www root. Well, when you install the FTP server, it'll make FTP root. Now let's look at the DACL for that real quick. I look on the security tab. Um, but if I go through here, notice that you know it's just your your typical users here. Nobody special is added to the DACL. So anyway, while we're looking at authentication, um, notice that there's several types of authentication. There's anonymous, in which case it wouldn't require a password, and it would simply use this account, the iUser C Germany's World. Um, there's authenticated, and I might want to do that. You know, if I were going to allow users to upload files and things, I wouldn't want to just allow anyone. So I might want them to authenticate with a certain user account and a certain password. Um, you know, I could do either or, or I could do both. Um, if you have issues logging in with anonymous access, click check this option first and click apply and then uncheck it. Um, and then that in this case it would allow both. And so I want to do that. I want to allow I want to allow anonymous connections, but I also want to allow specific connections with specific uh, user accounts. Um, For the banner messages, um, welcome to the FTP server. And you 
You give me download files now and just add some messages here. Bye bye. And for maximum connections, I'm going to do 100. And notice my home directory by default is FTP root. You could make it whatever you want. You can choose whether or not to enable write access. If you're going to have multiple types of authentication, in other words, you know, maybe in, in different types of access where you know some accounts have read only, they can only download but not upload, and other accounts can download and upload. You're going to want to check the write option. And then you'll have to just simply use the DACL to control who can or cannot upload or, or write to the directory. Notice also you can grant or restrict access based on people's uh, you know IP addresses here. In this case, granted access is the default. I'm just going to stay with the default there. Just kind of quickly overviewing some of the settings there. All right, and then again, I'll go ahead and stop it. But if you haven't, make sure that you you, know, you start it. So start and stop. So those are sort of all the settings that we want to look at under the IIS six manager. Now let's go and look at the DACL here. Um, one of the things that I would do is I would allow anonymous access under FTP. Like I said, um, look at the security tab here. If you know, if I were going to have a user access FTP just for the purpose of downloading files and things, then anonymous access is fine. But um, I want to control who can actually upload a file. And in this case, um, I'm only going to allow. I've created an, already created an account called Web User. You might make an account called FTP User or something. But I'm going to add Web User, and I'm going to give Web User full access. Okay, so the anonymous account by inheritance only has read, but in this case, this account here, the web user account, has full access there. All right, and let me go ahead and make some files in here. Um, So here are some files and things in my folder, and I'll just leave this open here, pull it over there. So I'm going to open a command prompt, <clears throat> and let's try our anonymous account now. <clears throat> I'm just going to FTP localhost, and notice there's my banner, I'm connected to C Germany's world, welcome to the FTP server, it's sort of my banner message, and First, I'm just going to do anonymous with no password. And anonymous user logged in, and let me do DIR. And notice that you know I'm listing. I can do DIR or LS, and when I do, I can list all of the files in that FTP folder. Let's say I want to download something. If you put the question mark in, just like in Linux, you can get all the commands, and you have put and input and get and mget. Um, but to download a file, it would be get, and it's going to be based on the folder that I'm in when I ran FTP. So in this case, I was in the root folder. That's where it'll download too. So I'm going to download cool.txt. So I'll just say get cool.txt. Okay, and then transfer complete. And if I open up another my computer, notice that there's cool.txt. All right. Now I'm going to make a file here. Um, I'm just going to call this. I'll call this file upload. All right, and that this will exist in the root directory. So it depends on the directory I'm in. Remember, when I upload or download, I have to be in that particular directory to get at that file. So I'm going to try to use the put command. Remember, I'm logged in anonymously, so I should have read-only access, but not upload or write access. Notice it told me access is denied. Okay, so access being denied, let, let me log out. I'm going to use quit. And this time, let me authenticate as web user. And I hopefully remember the password for that account. All right, so I'm going to clear the, clear the console here and FTP localhost. 
and this time I'm going to use web user which has a different you know level of access on the DACL um, hopefully that was the password good okay that was the password all right so I can list the directory contents just like I could when I logged in anonymously um, I'm going to try to download a file I'll say get fun.txt and notice that I was able to download that file and again I'll open it up and show you I'm in the root directory so it just downloaded fun.txt there now let's see if I can upload remember when I was logged in anonymously I couldn't but let's let me try to put and notice it says transfer complete and when I did that notice what happened it uploaded it to the directory here so that's just an example of setting up FTP configuring banner messaging um, and setting up different kinds of access both anonymous access and authenticated access just to, you know, again a word of caution be careful because remember that FTP it's it's unencrypted authentication so you you don't want like a active directory account or you know a, a a user account, certainly not an administrator account or root level account, to be used to access anything over FTP. If you, you know, it's not really that safe, but if I guess maybe the safest way to do it would be to create a separate account and control, you know, specifically the directories so that that account can access and only allow that account to be used for people to log into your FTP server to gain access, you know, to upload files and things. Other than that, you know, anonymous is safe if you simply have files you wish to make available to the general public. Um, for an anonymous download. Of course, you could also use um, FTP, you know, through a web browser or use a graphical client here. So I'm going to do. I'm going to open my web browser real quick, and I'm going to go to um, HTTP localhost. All right, so here's my, you know, my little pirate page, and um, now if I go here, I'm going to do FTP localhost. Now notice if I do that, um, I'm actually using the anonymous account, and you'll notice a lot of people do this. They they make their FTP sites available on the web, World Wide Web, over HTTP, so you can access them via web browser, and I could. It's kind of convenient. I can right click and save target as and I can even though that's my FTP service running, I can access it over Internet Information Services through my web browser. It's just another option with the FTP server in IIS.